Hello and welcome to another Warning Lights video. The vehicle we're going to be working on today is a Toyota IQ. It's a 2008 vehicle. The fault that it's presented with today um, is a traction control fault and also an engine management fault. But there's quite a number of um, warning lights on the dash. So we'll have a look. Okay. You can see there's quite a number of lights on there at the moment. Uh, even after we shut the door, take the handbrake off. And the red light we can see is just the uh, seatbelt warning lights, but we've got the three lights at the bottom uh, for stability control and also uh, an engine management warning light. Let's see if we can just zoom in on that a little bit. And then we can see the three warning lights flashing. Uh, the engine sounds very, very lumpy and it's on an elevated uh, idle speed. Um, it's idling at around about 16, 1700 RPM. There's obviously something not quite right. Okay, we've got the Bosch system booting up. Let's let me make a few squeaks and squawks. Uh, now, the way we connect to vehicles these days are via a, what's called an EOBD socket, which is this socket here. And uh, they vary in the location that they're placed. So they're placed quite easily here. Some are behind panels, some are tucked way up the back of the dash. Um, they also have them uh, near the handbrake and various other places. But on Toyota, they're relatively easy to get to. Okay, we've got the system set up now, um, and instead of going through all the menus, I'm going to check onto this um, last 30 vehicles, and we already know that it's a, an IQ. We need to go into diagnosis on that. The system search, so it's now searching the vehicle going through the various computers that are on the vehicle and you can start to see these being populated at the back on older systems this can take 10-15 minutes and there can be up to 60 or 70 different ECUs So this is the one we need to be looking at, what fault details, and it's telling me already that the fault appears to be throttle valve pedal position sensor, outside set range, throttle valve position position sensor, input signal high, throttle valve, throttle valve pedal position sensor A and B, interrelationship so it all seems to be around the, the throttle system so what we'll do now is go and have a look on the vehicle see if we can see any obvious reasons for this uh, this fault occurring right we're under the bonnet now of the uh, the toyota and the throttle position motor is this unit here and it was identifying that there was seemed to be a problem with the uh, a high reading um, and uh, a correlation between the two systems and so what we'll start off with is doing a fingertip search around the wiring loom and already I can see and feel that this connector is loose so what we'll do is if I apply a little bit of force to this and you can hear it clicked back into place that could well be the root cause um, but we now need to go and check that this is actually working properly now. So we'll go back to the tester and okay what we've got here now uh, we've returned back to the diagnostic equipment and we're actually going to look at the actual values so this is the information that the computer is looking at and making its decisions off. And the two we need to be looking at are those two and these are giving me a numeric value but we can also display this 
as a waveform. And if I rev the engine now, we can freeze that. And we can see here, this is the signal from the vehicle, and this is the actuator following the signal from the throttle position sensor. Okay, what we've got here now, uh, we've returned back to the diagnostic equipment and we're actually going to look at the actual values. So this is the information that the computer is looking at and making its decisions off. And the two we need to be looking at are those two. And these are giving me a numeric value, but we can also display this as a waveform. And if I rev the engine now, we can freeze that. And we can see here, this is the signal from the vehicle and this is the actuator following the signal from the throttle position sensor. So what we'll do now is actually erase the trouble codes. Errors, error message have now been deleted. So we go back, just recheck that no other messages have returned. We've got no faults stored. What will happen now is the vehicle will go on an extended road test. Uh, once it returns, it will go back onto the diagnostic equipment and just recheck to make sure that this code and this fault has not returned. Thank you.